What is going on guys, it's Amit, you're watching Dev Dreamer, and welcome to lesson number 13 in JavaScript. In this lesson, we're going to build upon what we've learned in the previous lesson by looking at string concatenation. If you enjoy the content, don't forget to like and subscribe down below and choose all notifications so you never miss an update. Okay, so now that we've got a better grasp of strings and how to write them, let's now learn all about something called string concatenation. The word concatenation is just a fancy way of saying join together. So when we say string concatenation, we're referring to the process of joining strings together. But when and why would we want to do this? First of all, we know that in JavaScript, we use the plus operator to add numbers together. Well, the plus operator is actually a bit of a star because it can also be used to concatenate or join strings together. Let's take a look at an example. So here I'm gonna say let day be assigned the value of good morning and let's end this with a comma and a space you'll see why in just a second we'll say let night be assigned the value of good evening again we'll do comma and space and then finally let's just copy this line down for this last one we're going to say let question be assigned the value of how are you and for this last one we don't need a space there Okay, so let's now use string concatenation to actually join some of these together and come up with some different phrases. So let's say let greeting day be assigned the value of day plus question. And for the next one, we're gonna say let greeting night be assigned the value of night plus question. Okay, let's go ahead and console log these and see what we get. So console.log greeting day and greeting night. Okay, let's save this and see what we get in the console. Okay, so for the first one then, greeting day, we get good morning, how are you? And for the second one, greeting night, we get good evening, how are you? So here, we've actually concatenated two variables together, day and question, and then night and question for the second variable. Now we can also concatenate mixtures of variables and strings. So let's go ahead and get rid of this. And inside here, we're going to say day, okay, which is good morning, space, plus, and another space, and then we're gonna say in a string, have you had breakfast? Let's go ahead and save this. And in the console we get, good morning, have you had breakfast? So this first part here is coming from our day variable, which has the value of good morning. And then this next part here is a string that we've included manually, which says, have you had breakfast? Now the reason why we've got a space here is because we need a space in between these two phrases. If we didn't have a space, let's just go ahead and get rid of this space here. Let's save. As you can see here, JavaScript doesn't automatically put that space in for us. We need to do it ourselves. So let's go ahead and put that in. And now that's fine. So as you can see then, we can use string concatenation to join two variables together, or we can even join a mixture of variables and strings. Okay, so let's take a look at another example. So here I'm gonna say let first name be assigned the value of a prompt. And inside here, we're gonna say, what is your name? Okay, and then we want a console log hello with a space in between our final double quote and the word hello then we want to say plus first name plus a comma so we're going to say a comma with a space and then plus question remember question has the value of how are you so let's go ahead and save this and see what we get okay so we've created a prompt that says what is your name let's go ahead and put our name in here click on okay and then finally the console logs hello which is this here space first name which is what we put into the prompt that's the value of our prompt and then comma so I'll come over there with a the space and then finally plus our question variable which is how are you so all together we get hello Amit how are you now the reason why this works is because JavaScript determines whether these values here these are actually technically known as operands are strings or numbers but what happens if we attempt to add a string to a number so here let's say let string be assigned the value of 10. Now, although we know that 10 is a number, because we've surrounded it with quotation marks here, this is actually a string data type. Let's say let num be assigned the value of five. Notice the difference between strings and numbers. Strings have quotation marks, numbers don't. And then let's use string concatenation. So let's say let result be assigned the value of string plus num. Let's go ahead and just comment this out because when we save, that's gonna run again. And let's just console.log result. Let's see what we get. So before we save them, what do you think we'll get? Is it gonna be 15? Well, actually, the answer we get back is 105. Now, the reason why this has happened is because if either operand is a string, then JavaScript assumes string concatenation. We can see this by checking the type of result. So let's just console log here, we'll say type of, and this should return a string to us. So whenever we add a string and a number together, JavaScript assumes string concatenation. So the string 10 plus the number five 
gives us the value of 105, which is a string. Now there's also another way to concatenate strings in JavaScript, and that's using the handy string method called concat. We'll be looking at string methods in detail in the lesson after the next. For now though, let's go ahead and see how the concat method works. So using our previous method then, greeting day up here, we can actually just say day, which is the name of our first variable, dot, and then we're looking for concat, which is right here, and then in parentheses, whatever we want to add on to this. So in this scenario, it's going to be the question variable. Let's save this, and as you can see, that works just as before. So to summarize this lesson, we can concatenate strings together by using the plus operator. Remember to keep spaces in mind so that your final outcome is readable. And finally, we can also use the concat string method to do the same thing. Once again, we'll be looking at string methods in detail in a future lesson. Okay, so let's take a look at your tasks for this lesson. Okay, so only two tasks for this lesson then, nice and simple. For task number one, I want you to create two variables with the values I am learning and JavaScript, and then concatenate these together using the plus operator and store the value in a new variable called result, and then go ahead and console log result. And for task number two, I want you to complete the same task, but this time use the string concat method. Okay, so go ahead and pause the video, try these out, and as always, when we come back, we'll take a look at the answers. Okay, so how'd you get on then? Let's see. So task number one then, let's go ahead and create two variables. So I'm gonna say let hobby be assigned the value of I am learning, making sure to put a space at the end there. We're gonna say let course be assigned the value of JavaScript. And then we're gonna say let result be assigned the value of hobby plus course. Let's go ahead and console log this. So console.log result. Save this, and we get I am learning JavaScript in the console. Perfect, for task number two, complete the same task, this time using the string concat method. So nice and straightforward, all we do is we say hobby.concat, and then we surround our second variable in a parentheses. Let's save this, and we get the same thing, I am learning JavaScript. Now, as mentioned in the previous lesson on strings, writing our strings like this with either single or double quotes is completely valid. And 99% of the time, this is how you'll see them written. However, there is also a more modern way of writing strings called template literals. And we looked at this very briefly in the previous lesson. Now with template literals, we can also concatenate our strings together, but we can do so in a much simpler and cleaner way. Let's find out how to do that in the next lesson. So guys, don't forget to comment, share, like, and subscribe down below, and I'll see you on the next one.